Hello everybody. Just wanted to pop in real quick today and speak with you guys for just a few minutes. Um, <clears throat> I was invited for a few minutes onto a discussion today and one of the things that I talked about kind of really hit home in my own heart while I was saying it. And so I just kind of wanted to come on and um, bring it to y'all. And so one of the things, hey Shai, one of the things I wanted to just bring up is that, you know, for those of us who are looking to have God's will done in our lives and, you know, we have things that God has promised us and, you know, we're praying and believing God for those things and, um, and you know, <clears throat> We just pray and plead with God, you know, Lord, uh, you know, bring this promise to me that you've promised me. I'm, I'm trusting you for the promises that you've gave me and I'm trusting you for this and that and the other. And, you know, <laughs> I was painfully reminded of a time in my life where I was just begging God to bring me a husband. Break, just begging him to bring me somebody that I could spend the rest of my life with. And it was a very painful realization for me when God showed me that I really truly wasn't ready. And so the question is, are you ready for real though? Because you can, you know, the idea of having a husband, the idea of having a wife, <coughs> excuse me, those are, you know, awesome things and they're great things and God promises those things and he brings those things to pass. But if you are still, you know, selfish, if you are still not ready to share your life with somebody, then what makes you think God is going to bring that person when you're not ready? And so a couple things that God brought to my attention when I had asked him for a husband is, you know, well, what things do you want? And at that point when he asked me, I'm like, well, I mean, he needs to be, you know, a Christian. He needs, I mean, I had a very small list of things that, you know, because I didn't think that I deserved to ask for anything more than just the basic things. Like he just needs to be a Christian. He just needs to be, you know, a, a nice man. He needs to, you know, and, you know, I really had a short list of things that I had put on uh, God for my mate. And as I began to really just press into God and ask him, you know, for my husband, he began to show me things in myself that, that needed to go, that needed to be taken out. And so, you know, as he continues, and I say continues, to remove those things from my life... I begin to see more and more how I am so thankful that he didn't bring my husband when I asked him because I probably would have driven him away because it wasn't the time and I wasn't ready. And so I'm so thankful to him that he didn't bring him before I was ready for him. And, you know, I would be, I would venture a thing to say, you know, and you know, some people will say, well, you know, you'll never be ready. If you wait till you're ready, you'll never do it. That's not what I'm talking about. Because I know that there's always going to be that, you know, well, I'm just not ready. You know, there's not enough finances. There's, you know, um, there's not enough, you know, whatever. You know, I'm not ready. Well, yeah, that kind of stuff will fall into place when it's God's will. He'll take care of that. However, when... When there are things internally that need to be healed, that need to come out, that we need to surrender, and we've spent our whole lives not surrendering those things because we feel like they're ours to hang on to, that, those are the things I'm talking about. So that would be like unforgiveness and bitterness and, and even sin or uh, bad attitudes or selfishness, um, you know, just things that we struggle with on a daily basis that, you know, we don't need to struggle with, that we need to just give to God and let him have it. And so, um, my encouragement to you is that if you're believing God for a promise, no matter what that promise is, whether it's a husband or a wife or a child or 
for a job or for, you know, um, him to speak to you about his will for your life or whatever you're believing God for, make sure that you ask him, is there something I need to do or I need to let go of? Is there something that I need to hold on to? Is there something I need to cultivate prior to receiving this promise that you've promised me. I know that you promised me. I know that it's going to come through, but let me not be the reason why it doesn't come. Let me not stand in the way of what you've promised me. And this is something that, you know, you just have to ask him and he'll answer you. He may not, you know, you may not hear an audible voice, but he will answer you in cha- in helping you change the things that need to be changed or letting go of the things that need to be letting go of or of healing the things that need healing because you know let's face it you don't want to go into a marriage when you are hurting from a, a prior relationship or you're hurting from things that happened in your childhood or you're hurting from something that your ex-boyfriend did you're expecting someone else to pay for those things that someone else did to you and that's just not an okay place to be when you're looking for God's best in your life you need to have those things released and he is the best one that can help you do that and so I just want to encourage you tonight I just want to let you know that he is the burden bearer he is the one that that can come and just take those things he's the one that can help us walk away from the things that we need to walk away from walk away from the people that we need to walk away from walk away from the situations that we need to leave and and go towards the people that we need to have in our lives and go towards his plan for our life and go towards a job that he has lined up for us or you know whatever the case may be he is the one that is going to get us ready And so, you know, let's not fool ourselves into thinking that the stuff that we're dealing with, the junk that we have in our lives, is just going to go away when when a man or a woman comes into our lives. Because actually, you're looking at double. (laughs) You're looking at double the attacks. You're looking at double. Because now you have two people that are on that are on purpose serving God, and that are trying to do the purpose that God has. And if you don't have things taken care of, if you don't have things surrendered and let go of those things are going to stand in the way and those things are going to cause problems not saying that they would be it would be an impossibility however if you can help yourself before that man or woman comes into your life let's ask God to help us let's ask God to help us get those things taken care of let's ask him to help us You know, so that we can go into this next season of our lives. We can go into the season of our lives where we have a person with us. Go into the seasons of our lives where we have children, where we have, you know, uh, houses and where we have ministries. Let's go into that next season of our lives not carrying the same things that we've been carrying for so many years. Let's not go into the next season carrying stuff that doesn't serve a purpose for us. The only reason why we should ever look at our past is to point and say, that's where I used to be. This is how I got here, and I'm never going back. I love you guys, and I hope that you have a great rest of your evening. I also just want to say that don't let anything keep you out of church tomorrow morning that wouldn't keep you out of work on Monday morning. Have a great night. Love you. Bye.